is every player's worst nightmare. You're just getting into your season and pop, there goes your hamstring. Well, this week I caught up with Middlesbrough and Algeria defender Adeline Guadura, who was getting treatment at Qatar's Aspatar Medical Centre. You're here in Qatar, recovering in rehab. Tell us a little bit about your injury. So I had on training a little tear on my uh, hamstring. It was the first time uh, for me to have a proper tear. And uh, I felt it straight. It was a bit painful uh, the first, uh, first two days, I would say. Now I'm back here. I used to come here for, for every year. And uh, this is why I'm here for my rehabilitation and getting back quicker for, for being fit for the, for the club. Why Aspatar? Why come all the way to Qatar to recover? Basically, I used to come every year because uh, I do my pre pre season. Oh. So I come here and do all our soft uh, checkups and, and prepare to be ready for, for the season. And I enjoy here. You have a good condition, good atmosphere, uh, good people, good physios. So um, I think uh, as a professional, you want to improve every little bit of your. Uh, of your body, of your mental uh, mentality, and this is the place to be for that, I think. Always in a coquettish, always. What do you find tougher, coming here to Aspatar, working in the gym with one guy in your ear the whole time, or being out on the training pitch at, at Middlesbrough? I think it's sometimes it's good to come here because you, you are out, you can come back fresher when you come back to the club and you are really focused on, on coming back. When you're there, sometimes you see the, the, your teammates going to train and you, you have to stay in the room. On the physio room, you are like impatient. You, you really want to go with them because, and even like when you're injured, the old players can tell you that you work more and longer. You have longer days than when you train. So I don't mind this, but it's more like you stay, you want to play the football really. and. For all footballers, it's, it's like this. So sometimes it can be frustrating, but when you get closer to coming back, you want to be there and enjoy with them. Yeah. Do you have sympathy for players like Gareth Bale, who just keep getting the same injuries week in, week out? Like, what, how do pros feel towards their other pros when they see them keep getting these reoccurring injuries? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, yeah, like you said, I feel for them. It's in any, even if you are like you play a derby, you. You play a team that uh, is a big game. You don't want them to get injured because you want to beat them, uh, but you don't want them to get injured because you know the process of coming back and being being in this situation. I think it's really hard sometimes when you don't have uh, a good people around you or good uh, facilities or good physios uh, that helps you to to come back better. So I can see, like like you said, Garrett Beck coming back, doing well, and getting injured. It's a big, big frustration because I'm sure he's working really, really hard. You can see him working really hard and he's top, top level player. Even if you are not with him, you feel for him. Yeah. yeah. And what's the feeling when you go back from injury and it's your, your, first, your first match? Are you, are you, especially as a defender, you're going in for hard tackles, you're, yes, you know, the, you're battling? Like you said, this, um, I remember when I had um, a shin fracture in 2010. I came back and I was a bit scared and I had the first tackle on my, on my injury and I was like scared and I, and I saw, oh, no, it's fine, there is nothing, I don't feel anything and from that I, I forget and I went uh, 100%. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's little things and you need to have sensation, feelings of the, the ball and contacts and stuff like this and when you into it after it's you're done. <laughs> Just finally, do you feel we've heard Zlatan saying a lot that he's like superhuman, he's a lion. Where are you on the animal spectrum in terms of like your your recovery rate? Me, I'm desert fox. <laughs> you're a what? A desert fox. Uh -oh, desert because Alge fox. Algerian, yeah. <laughs> yes, of course, he's, he's, uh, Zlatan is, he came back quicker and I think he works hard for this. 
But like I said, uh, in Lion King, Mufasa died, <laughs> so you know, <laughs> never know. But uh, now it's, uh, it's, it's top professional and is an example for, for player. He even came back quicker and it's a um, difficult injury that he had. So it's, it's good, it's motivates people as well. I think it's important when you have top uh, level player that uh, they, they keep working hard, even from injury. Uh, as, a, as a sportsman, as a football player, you, you follow these steps.